You're watching Screw It on Supple Wine. I'm your host, Mike Supple, continuing my tour through Northern Oregon's Willamette Valley. Today I'm at the well-known Willamette Valley Vineyards. Produce a lot of great wines in good quantities, so you should be able to find them in local shops all around the country. I asked their winery ambassador, Wendy Bennett, why Willamette Valley only uses natural cork as opposed to synthetic corks or screw caps, and she gave me the full breakdown about cork. Turns out it's much better for the environment than you might guess. We use all natural cork. This is something I'm incredibly passionate about and something a lot of people don't even know anything about cork. I asked a lady where she thought cork came from and she said she thought it came from the ocean. Uh, no, actually cork is a forest. Uh, there are um, trees, there's an oak tree that grow to be about 250 years old. And these workers there, they farm them every nine years by peeling the bark off of it. You can see there's an example of some bark here. They peel that bark right off and then they soak it and steam it and flatten it and it becomes a piece against the wall here. And they take that piece and they cut it out like the strip that's on that box there and cookie cut that out and there's your cork. In fact there's a picture of a whole mountain of those cork uh, uh, cartridges right there. Um, so we use cork here at Willamette Valley Vineyards for four reasons. One, cork trees are a renewable resource um, that grow every nine years so a harvest or a tree can see 16 to 20 harvests in its lifetime. We also use it for revenue for a country like Portugal, where 50% of the world's population of cork comes from. And those folks there in Portugal have been relying on that revenue for centuries. Um, and we want to continue to help support them in what they're doing. Um, and on top of that, the reason why we want to do that is for the third reason. Environmentally, cork trees are phenomenal. Those cork trees, there's 10 million of them. 10, sorry, 10 million acres of them. That's a lot different than 10 million trees. 10 million acres of them and they absorb 4.6 million tons of carbon matter out of the air a year. And because of what they do, it makes them the second most important forest in the whole world alongside the Amazon rainforest. Um, on top of the fact that there's animals and, and, and birds and plant life that rely on that as their ecosystem too. But if we aren't helping uh, the revenue of Portugal, they're not going to be farming these trees and they're not going to be protecting those trees. So we, we have to be, you know, in order to tie it in with the environment, we need to be using natural cork. And the final reason why Willamette Valley Vineyards uses natural cork is it's a recyclable product. So when we're done with this product, we can turn it into something else. And, you know, go from cradle to cradle instead of cradle to the grave like plastic corks and unfortunately aluminum caps do. Um, what they do with these though, we started the very first recycling program in the world uh, here. You can find these boxes at all Whole Foods here in Oregon. And by the end of the year, we should be nationwide with our recycling program. So you can actually turn these corks into something else instead of a a trivet or, or instead of a landfill. Uh, so we can turn them into shoes, sports equipment, floorboards, um, building supplies. We use ours for our packing materials. It's a really great product um, and well worth um, taking that second look at uh, as far as a consumer standpoint because that's really why there's the, um, uh, you know, why the cork forests are going extinct is because of the consumer. It has nothing to do with the environment, it has to do with us personally using cork. If those folks aren't th out there aren't gonna farm them if they're not making money off of them, so. There's your crash course in cork. <laughs>